lights out. No, lights on. Lights were out. Then you turned them on. Who's in a dead man's coat? Willis? How much have you had to drink today? I mean, the normal amount. Like, three liters? I don't have to answer that. I mean, that that one. Hello. Oh, I hear perverts. If a man would be in business, ah! I see pervert. Go into a graveyard at the quarter hour before midnight. You know, I know you're not supposed to look into the camera when you're acting. Very cool. I'm not 100% clear on what the rules are for making out with the lens. The corpse and put it on. So what's like freshly buried in tail? Like first night, the first week? The hour of midnight strikes. Then have he gained the power to be invisible. <clears throat> but let him who do really like watching the TV right at crotch level. A lot of silly nonsense. This was in the era before they'd invented remote controls. Rich people had a TV I butler. I suppose you believe it. <laughs> You're a fool, Gregory. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. May I have another, sir? It's impossible. You know that. <laughs> he got his daily <laughs> walk in no, two feet from one chair to the next. What are you hinting? And at? back to drinking. Not, not hinting, sir, at anything. You've heard of this superstition before, haven't you? I'm not quite sure that it is a superstition, sir. Well, <laughs> Get out of here. Yes, sir. <laughs> you scamp. God, I hate him. Visible. Put on a dead man's coat. <laughs> that fool Gregory. They would probably smell and who would even know if it would fit? Wouldn't be bad, though, if... Oh, cameraman, get it together. Invisible. The things you could do to people. Acting so bad. Oh, he can smell the opportunity now. Would it? <laughs> Gregory! Yes, sir? Bring Wait, me my jizz mop. Yes, sir. What I could do to people. That didn't sound good. A drink, sir. The evening paper just came, sir. All right, get out. The... Yes, sir. Do you serve that on a newspaper? Mr. Ingram's funeral is in the paper tonight, sir. He was buried today, sir. And why not? He was dead. Yes, sir. I was sorry to hear that. I wasn't. I hated him. So how did your eulogy and go? Sir. And good riddance. I'll get out of it. I hated him, remember? Yes, sir. I killed him, remember? Oh. oh. Archibald Ingram, age 44, who died recently at his country home in Northport, was buried this afternoon at 3 p.m. in Lakeside Cemetery. That was on the front page, huh? Uh-oh, he found us! I don't want this guy to Gregory. think that I exist. <clears throat> Poor Gregory, just his whole life in and out and in and out Gregory. and in and out. You and not in a fun really porno worker type way either. Thing in uh... in what's up? In what the fellow was saying on the television, you fool! You know what this you finger point gesture, gesture means? Yes. <laughs> the TV man. Do you believe him? No, sir. I'm and Gregory, how do you explain the man being in the TV? Huh? How's he so small? How would he get into my house? I need answers. Give me a light, Gregory. Gregory this, Gregory that. <laughs> Gregory, would you mind lighting my Sharpie? What am I his butt? Oh, right. Shit. Come on, come on, Gregory. We've got to be finished by midnight. That's when the coupon for the invisible oh, coat expires. Right. Here, give me that job. Yay, swapsies. What time is it? Let me know. Before midnight, Mr. Francis. Don't mention my name, you fool. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. There's, there's nowhere around. And if it won't help, at least shut up. Look, there's some dude moving around in the background. I'm, I can't help it. I'm afraid. Ah, everybody here is dead, except you and me. Oh, I wish. I don't understand why the guy's butler's not the one shoveling. <laughs> Sir, Turn might you out. stop throwing shovelful after shovelful of dirt into my, my face, sir? Before midnight, sir. Aha! I, I found it! Gregory! 
Yes, sir. Hand me down that heavy screwdriver. Yes, sir. One heavy oh, screwdriver. Give me that axe. There isn't enough time. This is a medium weight screwdriver, you fool. Oh! Ah! God! I'm awake! Ooh, we're getting down into pay dirt. Oh no, Mr. Francis, will you shut up? Gregory, it's like opening a Cadbury cream egg. You. Is it to me, Daddy? Come on, Ingram. Let go of it. Look, not again, sir. Uh, Gregory. Yes. Gregory, the body's Gregory. fighting me, Gregory. We have a new problem, Gregory. A fucking zombie or Frankenstein's monster or werewolf or some shit. Got it. Uh, now we'll see, Ingram, old boy. Or Robin. We won't see. Slowly walk away. <laughs> no. Nope. I'm just going to creep out of this movie. I'm Basil Rathbone, damn it. I deserve better. Gregory! Want to put it on, Gregory? <laughs> Where are you going? Thought you'd run away. Thought you'd run away, did you? I was trying to creep, you creep. Police. I thought you'd appreciate it. Hey, Robbie, you're going to tell them. Oh, well. Oh, oh, me, my got man. one more in you. You'll try anything like that, and you know what I'll do. I'll give you another weak ass two fingered slap. Ex convict against mine. He's an ex convict yeah, butler? <laughs> that old trope. Gregory, and you know it. So if you try anything. <clears throat> wow, he's really getting in there with those Vulcan tell, neck pinches. Uh, you know you won't. Yeah, because if I don't turn you over to the police, I'll. <laughs> Why, I'm going to be invisible, Gregory. Uh, you won't be able to see me. Uh, that sounds like a dream, sir. I'm uh, lying thrown out with my bare hands. I'll be invisible, and I'll murder you or anybody else that I want to. Now, get to work. <clears throat> and fill in that grave. Gregory. With some grave robber tore it up. Gregory. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Gregory. Get down in that grave. Gregory. I won't. Don't. Please don't make me get down in that grave, sir. At least spit in my mouth for, sir. Oh. Mm. Uh, hurry up. Yes, sir. Give this bad butler some more of Daddy's special gumdrops. Need them gumdrops, sir. Need them real bad. Sir? Uh, sir, gumdrops? Daddy gumdrops, sir? Francis! Off to be invisible! Girls locker room, here I come! Don't go away and leave me here! Mr. Francis! Where are you, Mr. Francis? Keep quiet, you fool! Can't you see I'm wearing the dead man's coat, Gregory? Obviously, I can't see you. <laughs> you know that. Stop being a dick. Did you come here not knowing what invisibility was? I thought it meant I didn't have to pay taxes. So we're ripping off the invisible man, are we? Take pardon, sir. All right, give it to me. Right here, right now, sir? No, over here. <laughs> he hands it to him and you hear a worrying <laughs> thump noise. Still not used to <laughs> it, <Whoa. Gregory. laughs> I'm suddenly extra, extra drunk. Can I get you anything else? This wasn't what I asked for, Gregory, but I'm not I saying I don't enjoy out. it. And by God, do I appreciate innovation. I will be your reckoning, sir. We're going to call on my friend Hamilton. <laughs> oh, no, sir. Mr. Hamilton. No garnish next time. <laughs> that didn't work at all. The toothpick is but not well. Hamilton made the series it, uh, treating me very bad. It caused some abrasions, which the uh, Bloody Mary didn't work with at all. <laughs> Plus, I think there's an olive stuck in me. <laughs> oh, That's yes, still, I think, you know, problem I too. I'd like to address the uh, get away with it. But whole now, toothpick oh, thing as soon as possible, Gregory. Seem, and also, will, Gregory. I don't know how I can tell this, but was there a strip of candied bacon in there? Yeah. Oh, I thought so. Yeah. 
<laughs> More of that next time. And you're going to tell that him was pretty good. Mr. Hamilton, and tell him that you must see him at once. You're going to tell him that you're in constant fear of your life. <laughs> Which you are, Gregory Arnold. You're being invisible and being make super psychotic. Yeah! I won't be a part of the murder. You know, according to this episode and <laughs> Hollow Man, now, you'll do everyone is just a murderer you know waiting you to will, be invisible. You? You'll be a party to murder or anything else I want you to. <laughs> and if anything happens during our little session with friend Hamilton, if anybody interrupts us, why then, my dear fellow, you'll be found alone with a murdered <laughs> man. Because I'm wearing the dead man's coat. <laughs> so win, lose, or draw, you're it. Now, take this phone. And jam it up your ass. So yeah, what, what would you do with invisibility powers? Well, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> oh, you have definitely painted a picture. Therefore, gentlemen, we should very much like a response to our letter of the uh, 18th, I believe it was, in which we informed you that we were about to send to you a shipment of the late... Excuse me, Mr. Hudson. Go right ahead. Yes? Hold on, please. Or is it Miss Farley? There's a gentleman outside to see you. I don't know, I can quite catch it. Gregory. He sounds invisible. Oh, yes. Yes, Miss Palmley. Uh, ask him to come in. Have him wait, please. And you may go to lunch. Yes, sir. We do not wish to be disturbed. Yes, sir. How do you know that? Have you talked to Gregory? Yes, no, I talked to Gregory. Ah, oh, Gregory. Come in. Sit down. Oh, I think your secretary digs me. Sit down. Sit down. She has a thing for elderly convicts. Well, I must say you are in a state. What's that scoundrel Francis been up to now? I can't say much, but just be careful about Invisible Man. Francis, oh, there's, a, there's a draft in that window. Not too much for you. No, no, sir. Well, now, what's happened? I can't oh, tell you, you, but I can say it rhymes with dirter. Me, so I suppose we're both in the same boat, aren't we? <laughs> Gregory... What can I do to help you? You sounded most upset when you called on the phone. I need a diapy change. Don't tell me he's been threatening you. Lock the door, Gregory. Diapy change, you say? What did you say, Gregory? Lock the door. Lock your diapy door? No, no. What's the matter with you, Gregory? Don't you want me to lock up your diapy door? There's nothing the matter with Gregory Hamilton. <gasps> oh no, my chin! Ah, you monster! Lock the door, I said, or I'll kill you too. Oh no, the invisible prick strikes again. Yeah, that's better. Help! Gregory! I told you I'd get you. Prostate simulation. You I need it to finish. Gregory can't help you, Hamilton. Don't you recognize my voice? Don't you recognize my voice, Hardigan? <laughs> Francis, the man who hates you, the man who swore he'd murder you, the man that you wouldn't see because you're afraid. No, I just stay with you. Oh. Remember, Not another weak handed slap. I don't know how many more of those I can soak up. Ah, you're weakening, Hamilton. <laughs> Why doesn't he fight back? I mean, the guy's not super strong or anything now. He's just invisible. Yeah, he, he could fill around for the nards. Yeah. <laughs> and there's plenty of chairs in this room. <laughs> just blindly start wailing. Just start jabbing the back of chair until you get nards. That's when you know you've won. The nard contact. The squishy, crunchy nard contact. The inhuman howl of pain. They're burying good old Hamilton this afternoon. Died of a heart attack, paper says. Gregory, <laughs> <laughs> you weren't suspected in the slightest. Even though he was alive when you went in and dead when you left. The coroner's inquest. Real bad police force in this town. You were extremely convincing. Mr. Hamilton was an excellent help gentleman when I let myself out of his office. <laughs> there you the go. Oh, too far. Too far. Too far. Coat. You never know where I am. The other guy's invisible, remember? Oh, yeah, right. Nobody knows where I am. I'm glad you told us more about that. I wasn't really <laughs> tracking this whole no. invisibility thing. <laughs> You and I are going out. So you're saying, let me get this straight, We're that I can't see you. Gregory. 
if I mistake not. The first of a good many funerals, you and I... We're going to a funeral, Gregory, to pick up chicks. And so I can get another dead man's coat and become double invisible. I'll be invisible by conventional means and by infrared. Beverage. Carteret. Well, okay, here's what you do. You grab a golf club. And you just start swinging in a wide arc. <laughs> it should be okay. He doesn't have a gun. It's a desperate move, but an effective one. Just start spinning in circles like a tornado with a golf club. And you can take the coat for yourself and go on your own killing spree. As God intended. I'm going to watch them lay away, my good old... Wow, that was a hell of a fart. You said you wouldn't do that, sir. All right, all right. I'm going to move, if you don't mind, sir. Sir, I know you're invisible, but that might be giving away your position. <laughs> I can feel the fart cancer growing. I'm becoming less and less me and more and more you. I'm becoming less a man and more a fart. What's the matter, Ben? <laughs> Nobody in there but him. Well, it sure felt just like somebody standing in my way. Well, if he is, he sure was invisible. What a weird thing to say, Bob. Wow, right on the nose with that guy. All right, well, let's do the thing that we always do when we close a crypt. Fill it with molten lead. <laughs> Eat it, corpse. If anyone's in there, I guess they're invisible. Help! Help! Oh, God, help! Gregory, you said. Yes, my, my name's Gregory. I was the last person to see poor Mr. Hamilton alive, sir. I see. I don't hear nothing! I'm sorry. Molten lead lever! Hit it! We ain't no invisible sympathizers. You up the door. Oh, sure. Just put a new lock on just before the funeral. Good strong lock. Nobody will ever get in there. Or out either. Ben. I'm sorry. Mr. Francis. Mr. Francis, it's Gregory. Get that door open, Gregory. I can't, sir. It's locked. I heard him, you fool. So what the fuck do you want me to do, asshole? Yes? Well, hammer on the lock. You hear me? Really think, considering the situation, you might want to think about being nicer to me. With your skull, Gregory! Let me introduce you to a little tool I brought along called a Molotov cocktail. Enjoy! What's he whacking it with? The cemetery crowbar? So, why didn't they have him take the coat off for this scene? Find that door. There's nothing in here to get hold of. Go to the car and get some tools. Try them. Hurry up. Right, there's nothing in the car, sir. Well, get something and try. Hey, well, sir. And hurry like up deep and inside in my heart and soul? Yes, sir, Can I sure. open it with the power of love? Oh, no, it's not one of those. Love. God damn it. Oh, Anime, why have you failed me? Well, on the plus side, we have a lot of creative options for glory holes. What did you bring? What did you bring? Can of hairspray and a lighter. <laughs> Buckle up, bitch. I thought perhaps the bar, sir. Well, get started. Get started, I tell you. You know what? Fuck this guy. You know what? I don't know why, but that insult is the no, last sir. straw. What? what did you say? I said no, sir. Gregory? I'm not going to try and file through those bars, sir. But Gregory, I was always Gregory. so nice to no, you. Not, but Gregory, you're not going to... Leave me in here. No, sir. Oh, I, I knew you were only fooling, Gregory. Feeding Come you scraps, in. letting you sleep at no, the sir. foot of our bed. Now you listen to me. Remember that time I forced you to get into the hole of that grave that was Gregory, just buried? You had good times, Gregory. So I thought that was hilarious, Gregory. I'm sorry, Gregory. It doesn't mean fuck me, right? Ooh, wrong answer. Care to guess again? You're a murderer, Mr. Francis. You're already planning other murders. Oh, I was joking, Gregory. And you're a great robber, too. It was a joke murder. And you've treated me very badly. Bullshit, bit. I mean, uh... You knew I wasn't guilty. Well, I'll make it up to you, Gregory. Don't look at the camera. Friend. Think of how many years we've been together. And you've mistreated me, sir. You've struck me. Now that is untrue. Every time I gave you a wedgie, keep in mind that I could have made it an atomic wedgie, and I didn't. Out of the goodness of my heart. Yes, yes, except the one time I hung you up on the flagpole. Oh, Gregory, please. But that was, that was for laws. That was for laws, Gregory. My butthole never recovered, sir. 
whose body you robbed. Now, Mr. Hamilton, who's lying inside with you there now, sir? No, 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 sir. <laughs> You know, they're not showing it, but he's really disrupting the funeral no, that's sir. happening in the next crypt. No, sir. Yeah, really dragging this out. It says in the Bible... A lot of stuff. I don't know. I skimmed it. But you wouldn't have read the Bible much, would you, sir? It says, judge not that ye be not judged. Oh, you better tell the GOP. Well, I'm not... They're going to be Mr. really Hansen. embarrassed. I'm going to give you a chance. Oh, Gregory. I know you would. Good old Gregory. Don't have to find out, sir. There'll be nobody here. There's nobody around for miles. And if and when they do finally come, sir, and they open this door... No. You won't be dead. No, no, no. <laughs> Someone's going to open the door and his jacket's going to fall off and they're going to play the Double McGum song. Through the bars now, sir. Give it to me. Give it to now, me. harder, faster, servant. Oh! You might be able to reach it, sir. <laughs> that was my invisible dick. Oh, oh, that's nice. Which I had tossed out as a lasso. But if you can reach it. And it doesn't break before you file through them bars. Very well then, sir, I was wrong. I'm not judging you, Mr. Francis. I will be a big enough man to admit judge that. Judge yourself. When you put on that dead man's coat. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! Boo! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> and that's how. Uh, <laughs> one third of that was just him yelling at a door. <laughs> what preceded that was nothing. <laughs> Not nothing. <laughs> uh, classic. Classic. Classic riffraff uh, punishment right here for you on tap anytime, anywhere. Like, share, and subscribe. Ah!